Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to rescue this Calatia leopardina. I have been ignoring this plant uh, despite the leaves turning yellow. Same thing what happened to my Calatia compact star. And I removed so many yellow leaves from this plant. And I thought I needed to update you guys on what is currently happening with this plant. And I just discovered just now guys this plant is actually flowering OMG it has yellow flowers guys I'm going to insert a photo so you can uh, see what it looks like I couldn't believe it so without further ado please subscribe hit that bell get your tea ready and let's get into this video These are the mediums I use for my plants, any kind of copper soil I can get from the garden center. And then I mix it with perlite and orchid bark to keep this plant good drainage as well as keeping the soil airy. And uh, as you can see, I have coco coir here. I got this just recently and this is the first time I have used it. I am trying experimenting with this mix in all my plants because I noticed most plants that come from nurseries or garden centers are often in coco coir. And it's an organic coconut fiber, great for keeping the soil loose and airy and gives better growth for plants as well. So I thought this would be a perfect start for my leopardina. I only used a small amount of this and mix it with my other medium. I probably had to use more but this is only an experiment. I thought I would give it a try and all the links of this medium are in the description box. As you can see, this leopardina is root bound. It's not that long since I repotted this. It is thriving despite some of the leaves turning yellow. And like I said earlier, I just discovered this plant is flowering. I had been ignoring this because I didn't have the time to sit down to sort out this plant and update you. But anyway, I really love the yellow flowers. They are pretty tiny flowers, very similar to Calatia Maui Queen's flowers. And it was white, but this one is yellow. So pretty, I love it. There's another one here which is pretty cool Here she is now after almost two weeks. This plant is doing great. It's not producing yellow leaves anymore, which is good. I love some uh, leaves that weren't too bad at all. But it's perfectly fine, guys. Oh, look at the foliage. What do you think, guys? The leaves are so vibrant. It's neon green. The pattern has dark coloration. Ah, oh, so gorgeous. Anyway, I just want to mention that if you're a beginner and you want to explore and wants to add prayer plants to your collection, try this one first to save your pennies. This is tough and very resilient prayer plant. But also don't forget that this plant needs humidity. Um, currently, the humidity in our living room is 69%, which this one here. And yeah, I finally purchased this hygrometer thermometer, which tells you the humidity. 
I think 60% is ideal, but my living room is constantly 67 to 73%, which is pretty high. I don't know why. I don't have humidifier, but only I could think of is I have so many prayer plants in our living room and their soil is pretty moist all the time so imagine the soil evaporates in the air like science <laughs> but anyway I will link this hydrometer thermometer in the description bar if you're interested so you can check it out like I said, I have been ignoring this plant despite its condition, but it's growing and thriving. It even gave me flowers. It's unreal. And I think this plant was having bad side effects from fertilizer because most of prayer plants hate fertilizer. For example, my Caladia Compact Star, if you have seen her repotting video, the leaves were turning yellow, but it's growing. So I didn't fertilize this Leopardina again, but I don't know guys, correct me if I'm wrong, this is only my theory. But my Caladia plants were perfectly fine without fertilizer. Just this year, I thought I will have a go with fertilizer again. And all my house plants are thriving, it's just the Caladia Compact Star. And this one seems to be having bad side effects, uh, but they are growing. So again guys, this is only my theory. Please don't shout out me. I'm not an expert, but I am allowed to have an opinion and I'm sharing my experiences and thoughts with you because I am trying to help the plant lovers out there who are struggling with uh, prayer plants. So yeah, sharing is caring. <laughs> That's us guys. This is my Kalita Leopardina update. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any thoughts and questions about this plant, please comment below. It makes me happy reading and answering your questions. So please feel free. Anyway, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Much appreciated. And until next time, happy planting. Bye.